Howdy YouTube, today we're taking a look at something a little bit different. We're taking a look at some bootleg Pokemon plush. <laughs> To be honest, I wasn't intending on doing a review on these. I was actually at uh, the Vic Market and came across a heap of these. I was able to haggle with the person selling them and ended up getting all of these for around the $40 mark from memory, which is a ridiculously cheap price and a really good deal. Some of them look pretty good, like the Venusaur. That's a solid looking Venusaur plush toy. The Dragonite's quite nice as well, but then you have the Bulbasaur and the Charmander, which do look considerably fake. So I guess I'll just show you, you guys these. You can uh, tell me in the comments below, if you're a Pokemon plush enthusiast, what uh, the difference is between a real one and a fake one. As far as I'm concerned, some of these look pretty good. They did have a lot there, Charizard, Mewtwo, Lugia. I think this one's fantastic. I've always been a big fan of Venusaur. Venusaur, to me, is... Uh, one of the coolest starter Pokemons. Charizard is awesome and everyone loves Charizard. But uh, I think because everyone likes Charizard, it's nice to have something a little bit different. And that's what you get with Venusaur. I think he's a cool looking... Uh, look at his cute little feet. Uh, <laughs> he's a cool looking Pokemon. He's got some great attacks as well. I used to love him in uh, the old Fire Red and Leaf Green games. It's also got some really cool looking Pokemon cards as well but yeah solid looking plush he is quite big there's my hand and i have quite big hands so uh he is a very solid size and he's looking a little sad there or a little lethargic either way you want to put it uh but a pretty cool find and just for comparison here is bulbasaur styling and profiling substantially smaller than venusaur of course uh he looks a lot faker that you can tell but it's not too bad. I've seen some fakes there. The worst ones, and I know it is a thing, but the ones that are the clones from Ditto, they're probably the ugliest looking Pokemon plush toys. Why anyone would buy them, I'm not sure. Uh, but this one doesn't look too bad. If I bring in Bulbasaur and also compare him to Venusaur, I guess there's the stages of Pokemon evolution. Uh, and the size difference is massive, actually. But two of my favorite Pokemon. Next up, we've got a Charmeleon, ah, uh, Charmander, I should say. Man, that was a really bad mental blank. You can see the uh, the tag on him. What does it say? Made in China. No surprises there. And six ninety nine, a bargain price. <laughs> uh, he is quite cute. I was always a big fan of bootleg plush toys as a kid. There was something just cool about them uh, that they tried and failed miserably. There's some great Crash Bandicoot uh, fake plush toys. And there's cool little stories like take Crash Bandicoot for example. Uh, when you go to the market as a kid there'd be heaps of them. And I think the actual fake Crash character was based off the uh, people at Naughty Dog seeing one of those bootleg toys and coming up with the idea to incorporate it into the video game. So that's kind of cool. Uh, these guys, I guess, could probably be the Team Rocket versions of the uh, the regular Pokemon, I guess. He's not bad. I mean, he's better than some of the other fakes out there. Again, I guess you can see some of the differences between uh, the legit ones and the fake ones. But still, for what he is, kind of cute. Last but not least, we have Dragonite. This is a cool-looking plush, a cool-looking Pokemon. All the Pokemon cards of Dragonite have fantastic artwork, and they're some of the nicest-looking cards you can get. The plush toy itself is not one I've seen before, but it is quite cute. It is quite big as well. Definitely the tallest of the three by far. I think a very underrated Pokemon. Quite a nice-looking Pokemon. As I say again, in the game, it was pretty... Powerful as well. Had some great attacks from memory. Has been a while since I've played a Pokemon game. X and Y hooked me in really well. But then uh, the remakes of uh, Ruby and Sapphire were just massive letdowns for me. And that's uh, turned me off. At least for the time being. Maybe if they, uh, they do something that changes things up a bit. I might uh, be inclined to join. But the new, the new Pokemon games with the completely new Pokemon just didn't really appeal to me. Uh, for whatever reason. And there you have it. Just a quick little fun review of some bootleg Pokemon plush toys. Lots of cool stuff coming up soon. But just thought I'd show these off for you guys.